I'm Tristan Shankle, and we're here for Secret Highly Intelligent Terrestrials, Episode 6. We're looking for the Chupacabra. The spirits. The Chupacabra. So here we are, we're at the den of the Chupacabra, where it eats its meals. It has eaten at least 3,000 people in the past year here, because, as we know, it's a very deadly creature. We also have... An unfortunate witness who was attacked by this creature, who we are going to be meeting later in this episode, and he'll give us some some juicy details as to how the chupacabra actually kills its victims. I was sniffing around back there, and I found this is indeed where it lives. There's even a tube that goes up to the top of the sky. Oh, we gotta see this. It's, it's, it's deep in there. Oh my. So it emerges from there, and it finds a good rock, and it likes to smack its victims with the rock before munching on their brains, and then it takes them into the tube and sets them up for dinner. I think we found some evidence of the chupacabra. Look, we're gonna track it. It's the corpse of a creature that's been petrified into the rock. The remains. Let's follow it this way. Okay, so here, here we have its feeding grounds. This is the water it likes to eat. You can tell from the shrubbery. It has all the nutrients a little lizard could want. Okay, I'll keep following it this way. Oh, it's on a track. Oh, it's a secret, highly intelligent terrestrial's exclusive chupacabra track. We have an actual track. Okay, keep going this way. It's a leaf. It's a leaf. Oh yes, a leaf. Oh, it's holes in the ground. It weighs well over 200 pounds, so it often breaks through the ground and leaves these holes you can see here. So these holes in the ground here is often where they can break through the sediment and into the ground because of how much they weigh. It's very often that the creature also likes to dig out small critters and bugs for dinner. So, as our expert Jason just said, it leaves these, these horrible pock marks in the rocks because it weighs so much. But we also know that means that it eats a lot because it weighs so much. And that means that it has to hunt a lot of the time. So it could really be anywhere out in these bushes here. So you never know when you could come across it. So we're going to look for the creature. Do you see it anywhere? If it was anywhere, it would be up somewhere up in the here. hillside here, somewhere in the bushes, rattling around. What was that? that? Which way did it go? Had to be that way. That way. Let's go. 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 Where is it? Something moving. Oh, <laughs> like wait, it, wait. It, is that moving? That, that tree's moving. Okay. It has to be in that tree. Okay. Wait. I think this is conclusive evidence. It, it it has to be right there. Like Oh my god. You know, we did it. This is proof of how sneaky a little creature this thing is. We cracked the code. We got it. The lingus code. So earlier today I sent some of my experts out in the field to do a, a bit of research about this whole chupacabra thing. But now I found an actual person who claimed to have encountered the creature. So, uh, your name is Tobin, am I correct? Yes. And, um, you actually claim that you met the beast face to face. Can you describe that encounter? Uh, well, it happened three weeks ago. I was jogging in the desert, and, uh, I, I saw a, a dog. I'm and sorry, can you a, speak up a little bit for the microphone? I saw a dog. He was hairless, and, uh, he approached me, and he bit my damn arms off and raked me. It bit your arms off. And raped me. And raped you. 
You have no. Are you, are you sure you didn't just put your arms in your sweater and fold them? You can touch my arm. But I'm saying. In the, no. Oh wow. Like sand, sand sleeve. There's nothing there. It's like an empty sausage casing. That's uh, nice Jesus, you really have no arms. Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, what do you think? Uh, you know, it's hard to put my pants on, my shirt on, my hoodie on. I've used my bare feet. So the chupacabra, you <laughs> bit your arms off. Yes. Yeah, it's 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 very strange. What the fuck am I doing, dude? What is this shit? What am I doing with my fucking water? So what happened after the, with the chupacabra? You know, after I eat my arm, it ripped my arms off and ate me. Uh, luckily, but after that, you already said that. What happened after? I was unconscious for I don't know how many hours. Uh, and, mm -hmm. uh, luckily, some uh, hikers saw found me and they uh, stitched me up. Luckily, one of them had medical training. And uh, next day, I woke up in the hospital with no arms. And then my anus was torn out. <laughs>